My name is Richard Yoon. I'm Director of Orthopedic Research at Jersey City Medical Center, RWJ Barnabas Health. My specialty is orthopedic trauma and adult reconstruction. What I've been seeing with Vivigen use in non-unions, not only was reliable healing, but really early clinical symptom abatement. I remember there was a lady who had a failed non-operative treatment of an ulnar shaft fracture. She was very, very active, even though she was about 71 years old. After using Vivigen, the prodromal pain that she had from the non-union, she reported around two and a half weeks that the pain was not there anymore. Especially when concerning the osteoporotic patients, distal radius fractures, tibial plateau fractures, distal femur fractures, proximal humerus fractures, not only were we getting reliable healing, but I was allowed to not only get the patients moving earlier, but bearing weight faster. That's a huge benefit to our patient population. Having the trifecta within the bone lineage line is what we think showed the robust healing. This is what really prompted us to start the Vivigen study. Our goal of the study is to look at not only the safety and efficacy of its use in non-unions, but also in the acute setting. For those of us who are at seven level one trauma centers, we're looking at not only the prospective use of Vivigen in non-unions as well as in the acute setting, but also on the patients that we've used it retrospectively. We'll be comparing it to our cohort of patients retrospectively that we use non-Vivigen in. We wanted to see if our anecdotal experience could be backed up with quantitative data. In today's day and age in healthcare systems, these are the things they want to see. It's so hard to get products on the shelf, uh, they need data, and that's part of the reason why I want to do the study as well to show our system that we're being progressive and that we're looking to the next step in treating our patients. Getting them back to work faster, getting them back to sport faster, recovering and rehabbing earlier and faster, the implications are kind of endless.